Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Got uh, 52 outside of studios and uh, coming up to 843. Good morning, Laura. How are you? I'm doing well, Heck. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you very much. And uh, certainly a, a wonderful event coming up in just a little bit. The uh, uh, 2022 commencement ceremonies in person. How good is that, huh? Oh, it's great. We are so happy to be back in person after two years of being virtual. So, uh, you know, it really means a lot to our graduates to be able to walk the stage and in front of their family and friends. And so we're going to do it on May 21st, and uh, it's going to be outdoors. And uh, as you, as many of you know, we have a beautiful solar canopy uh, cover at our Fall River campus, and that will protect everyone from the sun and the rain and the elements, and uh, we can actually fit thousands of people. We don't have to have any limits on participants. So, yes, we're looking for a really, we're looking forward to a really great day. Yeah, what a great job. With that. What a great idea with the canopy. My goodness, that's good. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of other things going on. Uh, we understand that uh, accreditation, uh, for the nursing program, a re-accreditation, and uh, that's going to be exciting. And the program has been a great one. How many years has it been in place now, the nursing program? Oh, boy, uh, for a long time. I don't know how many years, but it was one of our early uh, programs. And, um, yes, we were very happy to be granted uh, reaccreditation um, from the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing, otherwise known as ASEN. And uh, every nursing program needs to receive accreditation in order to be able to uh, have a program and graduate uh, students um, in the associate degree in nursing. And so uh, we it's a, it's a long process. Uh, we went through our self-study uh, last year uh, under COVID, and of course, it was a really challenging time for our nursing faculty and students uh, in and out of COVID, in and out of clinicals. Luckily, we have a beautiful facility here at Bristol Community College. We have wonderful um, uh, training uh, rooms with um, uh, mannequins, essentially, that are able to do things like birth babies, and you can, um, they have, all their symptoms can be communicated communicated and they're they're basically uh, talking um, uh, and we have faculty who actually are the mouthpieces of these patients uh, that the students train on so even under covid they were able to do all of their training and we were able to move forward and and our students have been able to graduate on time so it was really wonderful that we uh, that the uh, accreditation process came and went uh, very uh, smoothly uh, they looked at our mission our curriculum, our resources, our outcomes, that includes the students passing the program and their NCLEX licensing exam. Um, and they really commended our program on our innovation, uh, the interactions between faculty and students, our high level of student support, and of course our simulation labs uh, that helped our students practice skills before they, they are really there with their real patients. So they also commented, of course, on our, our students and faculty and their flexibility, their courage, their resiliency as they went, you know, through the program during this global pan pandemic, and we couldn't agree more. It's been a, a really uh, great time. So we're accredited right through 2029, which is a long period of time That's good. Uh, before we have to do that again. But again, it's just a stamp of approval uh, on how wonderful our um, our nursing program is. So what what kind of degree do uh, the nurses end up with at, at, after the uh, you know after they they graduate and all of that? Oh, that's a great question. 
question. So they are registered nurses. Uh, students, whether they graduate from a two-year degree or a four-year degree, are registered nurses. Um, the difference is that in our associate degree per, uh, program, we call it ADN program, associate degree in nursing, uh, students have a really concentrating nursing curriculum. Um, and they also have a lot of clinical hours. In, cl in fact, they have more clinical hours typically than a than a student going through a four-year program. So our hospitals and doctors really appreciate the skill level that our students bring. And then once they graduate with that associate degree in, in nursing and have their RN, um, what often happens is they go to hospitals or places where uh, they can receive tuition reimbursement for continuing on and getting their bachelor's degree. And many of our students do this uh, either, they'll finish either in person or on online degrees. The online degrees are very flexible, uh, but many of our students will continue on and, uh, and get their uh, Bachelor's of Nursing, the BSN at UMass Dartmouth, or many of them will do it online with other state universities uh, and not have to ever go into a classroom because most of the, the second year, the, the, the last two years of that bachelor's degree, a lot of it is liberal arts. Um, so it's easily done uh, on an online format. So lots of flexibility. The most affordable nursing degree anyone can find in the area is right here at Bristol Community College and also one of the highest rated nursing programs as well. Well, it is so critical. I mean, the need for, for you know, for quality nurses out there is just, uh, I mean, it, it, it continues to, to be an important factor uh, in light of everything that's happened with the pandemic and all of that. And uh, a lot of nurses got kind of burnt out having to go through that a very difficult time. And uh, so yeah, uh, there, there's, there's probably a shortage of nurses. So boy, does that program make it, help make a difference? Yes, there is a shortage of, of nurses and, you know, we are looking to try to figure out ways that we can expand our nursing program because uh, there really is a dearth of, of skill and talent out there right now. Um, and all of our grads who are graduating uh, on May 21st, uh, they certainly will have uh, the pick of jobs, which is really great for them. Yeah, no doubt about that. All right, that's good stuff. Excellent. So how have you been doing? Hanging in there okay? semester, so we're really excited to celebrate so many different things with our students. We have some events coming up for Phi Theta Kappa, our students who have been inducted into our National Honor Society. We have our Honor Students Showcase. Uh, we have student awards nights coming up. We've got a lot going on. And after our, um, oh, I should mention for our commencement, uh, the night before, Friday uh, the 20th, uh, all the, the students that graduated uh, with a virtual commencement are invited back to walk across the stage. We're having a special event for them. So that's uh, Friday, the 20th of May. And then uh, after our commencement ceremony on the 21st, we're going to have a big long party. Uh, it's kind of a bash with music and games and activities and fun and refreshments. Um, these last two years have been very, very challenging and we really want to whoop it up and make it a great celebration because these students and faculty and staff have really persevered under the pandemic. Oh, that's great. Oh, good stuff there. Absolutely. Well, listen, enjoy uh, the next uh, few weeks. Uh, it'll be something you haven't seen for a little bit, right, with all the, the live stuff going on, live in-person uh, ceremonies. And uh, now you, you are beyond uh, what's happening at the end of the, pretty much near the end of May. You've got summer courses and all of that continuing, right? Yes, we do. Uh, uh, summer classes are filling up, and we encourage people to come and, and register. We have in-person face-to-face uh, -face classes. We have hybrid classes, which are a mix of in-person and online. It uh, gives a little bit more flexibility, especially to working uh, 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 folks. And then we also have online classes uh, as well. So lots of different ways to, to keep up. You know, we had a lot of students go part-time during the pandemic. And so students need to catch up, and summer is a great time to take an extra class or two to keep on track with their degrees. All right. Terrific. Bristol Community College President Laura Douglas, thank you. And uh, you, have a, you have a great month of May, and we'll talk with you, I'm sure, the beginning of June. Wonderful. Thank you, Heck. You're welcome. Well. All right. Take care. You as well.